Hi everyone, I just wanted to show a quick little tag that I was making today um, and I was just enjoying making it so I thought I would share it with you in a quick video. I am using the Gently Falling stamp set that is actually retiring um, at the end of this month, sorry at the end of May and I wanted to um, use it and enjoy it and if you like it uh, feel free to purchase it before it's gone at last check it's still available I'm just gonna stamp this beautiful maple leaf right there no harm that some of it has gone off the page and what I was actually making today are little gifts I'm going to be going on a cruise with some stamping up people and I wanted to give them something that kinda speaks a little bit of Canada so I thought the leaf image was beautiful and I thought it would be even more beautiful if I added a little bit of a watercolor touch. All I'm doing is using the water aqua painter and just uh, running it with um, just over the image and I used crushed curry ink and there you go. I don't know if you can see at first it's an outline stamp but as I rub the aqua painter on it um, it actually gets a subtle coloring effect on it. Actually, I don't know if you can see it too clear on the camera. Um, I didn't want it too strong because otherwise I think it's too dark. I just wanted a little soft shading in the maple leaf there. So hopefully you can see that. That's kind of a fun technique with the aqua painter. Okay, and uh, I think that looks lovely as it is, but I'm going to put a little sentiment on it because I'm thinking of all the great people that I will be giving it to when I'm on the cruise. I'm making a little tag actually and I'm using the thinking of you sentiment from the wetland stamp set. There we go, that looks great. And I'll just round the corners a bit using our corner rounder. I think it's nice just to have a softer look and I do that with the corner rounder. There we go. I'll do the same on this piece. This is Cajun Craze. So I am going with some autumn colors here just to go with the maple leaf set. But I sure hope that autumn doesn't come too soon. Okay, I am going to just use our scallop tag topper punch. And look at that. I've got a beautiful uh, topper for my tag. And there we go. What I'll do to eat, I just like sometimes the little details. So what I'm going to do is poke a little hole using my paper piercing tool and my mat. There's a nice little hole there. And I'm going to use a um, brad from the Vintage Trinkets, which again are leaving us and saying farewell. So if you like them, you'll have to pick them up before they're gone. I'm going to just stick it in there. And I'm going to um, put a little bit of this beautiful Vic beautiful Victorian trim also leaving us boy I can't wait to see what's in the new catalog going live on June the 2nd they're getting rid of so many beautiful things they must have even more beautiful things in stock in store for us so I'm just going to dress that up just to give it a bit of a little more interest to my tag there we go and we'll just stick that down this is coming together really quickly. I was just having such fun making it, so I thought I would quickly show you how I made it. There we go. And just like that, we've got a really cute tag that says, I am Canadian. And here's the little gift that I'll be giving to the folks that I see on the cruise. Okay, so I just picked up these uh, maple leaf suckers at the bulk barn, and I just tied it with some early espresso twine and I think it'll just be a cute gift. I'm going to sign my name on the back and it'll just say, hey, I'm thinking of you. I'm so glad to see you. And uh, here's some thoughts from Canada. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my super quick video and I hope you have fun playing with your stamping things too. If there's anything you need, you can always go to my website at www.genevieve.stampinupnet and hit the shop button to see uh, what you can purchase. Make sure to get those retiring things before they're gone. And of course, check the clearance rack. You never know when they update that. Okay, have a great day. Bye.